Various speakers at the event highlighted how certain cultures and traditions may perpetuate GBV. A lot of incidences happen which leads us to ignore the law and then we end up taking the law into our own hands, which is abuse. Let's say you beat your wife every day. That is not traditional law, but simply abuse. How can we work together to change inappropriate laws to more appropriate ones? The headmen and women present here, you live with the people in the community and you are aware of the challenges they face, know what the law says. People killing others is on the increase and we need to work on this. Organizers of the event therefore believe that equipping the traditional leaders with the relevant knowledge will assist them in changing the prevalence of GBV within their communities. In an effort to ensure that our cultures and traditions are shaped in a way that our interrelation with our things must be today, we deemed it fit to come up with a program like this, where the custodians of our cultures and traditions, the Forum Anuetu, have a proper discussion on these issues to ensure that our cultures evolve and do not harm any individual. The British High Commissioner to Namibia says GBV will only come to an end when children are educated from a young age, adding that men should not only be role models to their sons, but also to respect the family unit. The Development Bank has produced data which shows that the rate of GBV across Africa ranges between 10% and 40%, which are some of the highest statistics in the world. And that's largely because of the way that males are brought up in African society, with patriarchal behaviour often reinforcing belief that men have the right to dominate women. So GBV is wrong and it's unacceptable. Women play a fundamentally important role in life, in Namibia and across the world. Without women, men wouldn't survive. Apart from statistics about GBV in Africa, more also touched on the GBV situation in the UK, adding that 2,4 million adults were victims of domestic abuse last year, and out of that number, 700,000 were men being abused by women. The workshop was organized by the Men for Women organization in collaboration with the British High Commission.